for whatever reason, like like big damage guys, like super studs, like you know they they got their work in. They didn't crush me. They didn't feast on me though. You know, like there wasn't a ton of damage done. Life is funny. In the blink of an eye, things can change so fast. And I'm confident that everyone can relate to that right now. Because every pitcher has that guy, right? Who was that guy where you knew you were facing him and you saw it in the calendar weeks away? You're like, oh. Well, it made like, me think about this guy. It's funny, like... I mean, I mean you were you're the A's. Was it, was it Trout? Trout never had to face me. <laughs> um... He, that would mean he'd request a day off, huh? Trout never hey, had... I'm not, my back's a little tight. Dallas Braden's on the mound. Words are words. Trout <laughs> never had to face me. That's how I, that's how I say that. Um, no, like, it was guys who just, like, I couldn't fucking get out. Like, Figgins. Could not get... Johnny? Johnny. Could, could not get Figgins Johnny out. Figgins. Polanco. Not getting uh, Polanco out. Like, just couldn't do it. Yeah, like, yeah. You, so you had, tough, you had a tough time with those guys that waited. Well, patient. because I'm not, like, who am I overpowering? Yeah, right? My grandmother? Yeah. Like, uh, that's fucked. So like I've got to I've got to be fine around the zone, and for guys that got good bat to ball skill, like that's just that's good to know for blitz ball. <laughs> <laughs> Straight risers, baby. Well, I got the fucking first day of spring training. You know, good old barstool sports land. Damn. Chase all. The waterfall is crazy. He jumped off the waterfall. All right, now I have to stretch. Ooh. Take you to uh, Boston for a little bit. You know, he may strike me out. This is going to be my first time swinging a bat all off season. May. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Yeah. Don't show that nip. I feel like these would hurt too. Oh, yeah, good. They are hard plaz tech. See where he's lined up? Look where he's lined up. It's all over the inside part of the plate. Now we're halfway. How'd that feel? See, it doesn't hurt. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm 0 2. Sorry. 0 2 in Bliss Ball against Dallas Braden. Auto take. Yink. It works sometimes. Oh. Darno means, right? Uh huh. He's ruler of eagles. Darno, Darno had to hit this changeup. Oh. oh, what a take. Oh. <laughs> portion of that strike zone back there. You didn't hit it. We all know it. Hey, these are tight. Oh, oh. my God. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on. I need to think. I need to think about my approach. It ain't been working. Oh, two. I'm going with the Jack Flaherty approach. He's a big hashtag don't think guy. I'm a big no, Jack Flaherty no. fan. Jack big Joker fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh! 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 It's not a strike uh -huh. that clips the bottom. Yeah. That's a strike. Yeah, it's gonna bounce. You're not gonna swing and you can't hit it. That's a strike. Yeah. So we get that pitch, but yeah, you yeah, also yeah. start to be able to conform from whatever level, like what is it gonna be? College? D1? Uh -huh. So you're gonna have to be going to get that. Hey, the, the Sorry about it! Hey the law! Hey! Hey! Hey, <laughs> hey fucking cowboy up! Hey! Hey, hey cowboy up, the law! <laughs> Look at this pretty boy. He does this. Who does his hair? Oh, he's who does so his hair? sexy. You think? Ah! Oh hey, yeah. The dog just hit me right in the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> he's a beautiful human. Person. That's why he's on my TV he's right. I can't get enough of him and Rosie. I love intentional talk. Oh, they're great. They're just real. It's the same shit. Yeah, they're talk themselves. Serious, have fun. Yeah. You know, but they still have to kind of operate in certain lanes. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What is what is the brand itself? of Barstool, like, what kind of stuff, what kind of content of theirs thrives? Well, like, it, something that just, like, never misses, like, wow, that went up, and that is always going to get a 
crazy amount of views. Is like it it, just... it's, it's, it's just always the authentic type of setting that you can tell isn't conjured up, isn't created, you know? Like, it's just, it, it, it just is organic, and it unfolds, like, and, it, and look, a lot nope. of it is luck, too. A lot nope. of it is timing, you know? Like, I think back to spring training when Machado ends up signing with San Diego, and we're talking to Bauer and Clev in the RV, just bullshitting, mm. and it comes across, like, we get the alert, and we were like, yo, Machado, San Diego, Bauer loses his shit. Because yeah, he's yeah. like, yeah, I don't have to face this motherfucker oh, anymore, yeah, right? Because yeah. Machado just owns him, just mm -hmm. owns his life. And so that, like, you know, we that could have been MLB Network mm -hmm. just as soon as it, as it was us. But it wasn't. It was, it was us in an RV parked outside spring training facility, right? Not on a stage that we paid for to have set up. We didn't have these guys, you know, basically we're not paying to have them filtered and funneled to us for their time. Like, this is just a completely organic way to go about things. And yeah. the players, I think, they appreciate that. Or they know that they can be themselves in that setting. Mm. It's, not, it's not scripted. I think that a lot of ball players are envious of the setup. It's kind of like you think about barstool sports. It just seems like you guys have the most fun. Well, we try to do, we try to do things in a way that you would do them sitting around your man cave, your house, whatever, with your homies, right? Like... Mm -hmm. You're not faking anything. You're bullshit and you have an opinion. Give it. If it's wrong or outlandish, you'll get crushed for it. But yeah. if it's informative to an extent, it's funny. It's what it, like that's what people are on board because that's what you do with your homies. Either way, man, it's authentic. And that's the biggest that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest I think thing these days is people know. I've always said people know what they want. They now have the opportunity to go where they want, mm -hmm. to get what they want. Mm -hmm from who they want it from, mm. delivered to them how they want it delivered. Mm. So Sorry. now that you live in a world like that, you don't have to abide by the rules per se. Right. You create your own rule book. You and whoever's willing culture. to play with yeah. your rule book, you know, I mean, you'll either sink or swim based on who's on board with you. But I mean, again, if it's authentic, that's tough to, that's tough to play against. You guys have created your own, you guys have created your own culture. Essentially, the way I like to word it is, you guys have brought the clubhouse to the people. The authentic clubhouse to the people. Like The stuff that people don't get to see is recreated through Barstool Sports. Because I feel like in the clubhouse, that's what it's like. Well, that's it. And, and like when, when we think about what we do and why we do it, like we have an idea of what fans want to hear. We listen to our fans. That's the biggest thing. Is like You're only as good as you think you can be if you're not listening to your fans. Like However good you think you can be, it doesn't matter after a certain point in time. You have to be delivering what it is the people want. Mm. I think I need to. I need to get to know the barstool fans. The stoolies, baby. The grounds crew. The stoolies. The grounds crew. Yeah. That's that's. Just... I need. To, I think I need to go. That's that's where I want to start. To be honest, uh, I think I'm going to start conducting some side interviews with some barstool fans. Like, are there any fans that you know of that you could uh, introduce me to? Yeah, there probably are. I could probably. I mean, um, I mean, even with our starting nine account, like we've had some. We've had uh, the Homer Minute, which is when fans call in to our voicemail line and just go off. On for, a big rant? Oh, yeah. Just give us, yeah, just your rant. Positive, negative, whatever. Like, we had people, like, you know, complaining about, uh, like, conflict in Latin America. Like, just, you know, a few years ago. Just crazy shit you, you will get. But that's right. You want a place to voice your opinion? We have the Homer Minute. And there are some absolute gems. <laughs> the Homer some gems in that piece so it's a it's a great place for for fans to to ventilate 